Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi. I'm from beautiful little island, Okinawa, Japan. This is my subject today. As a matter of fact, I finished up this image for last time and uh, this is the... I ended up with this image. But uh, I'm not satisfied uh, because of the balance of the picture and the colors of the picture. So I want to remake this. From here I'm going to explain to you now I have... Okay, um, I'm going to turn this one, everything down one by one. Okay, I have this image. This is a line image. I made it by photo, uh, Adobe Photoshop. Use the filter called the find edges. Okay, this is the one. Then next one is I painted on this layer, watercolor. Then next one is this background. Oops. This is uh, color on kimono. Then base image. This. Well, this base image though, I think it's not bad at all. I kind of like this. That's why I select this image, but uh, I made this one watercolor and the background and I add some color on the kimono. Finish up this last time is I just done satisfied because of this. As I said, uh, face is too big for this image. Balance wise, um, mm, need more heavy body on this, otherwise too big. The reason why is maybe I got this fan, shape of the fan and color is the main subject to this. So it should be her face is gonna be the main subject, I think. So I'm gonna remake now. How can I change this? change the color of the background or totally different paint or change the masking maybe easier for me to do is delete mask then I'm going to make create empty mask again now invert mask so start point is making mask. Now I will see these images over watercolor and also I'm gonna change the background. This background maybe made make the unbalance and because of the heavier here, no colors down. So I'm gonna well, just turn it off and uh, add layer for background, new background. Then uh, I'm going to add this one later. Okay, now just see the back, I mean, uh, this mask, invert, reveal the mask on, choose the mixer brush to Monet mixer and just reviewing, right? So it's not uh, it's same thing what I'm doing. What's the same thing? Well I'm gonna Okay take this mask first of all off then add new background to be at this, I'm gonna paint it on this with the money mixer to get water, make it lighter background. Okay, now 
like nap the background. Now around here, I may just expand some colors. Now it's kind of expand to the edge of the frame. No frames, edge of the picture. Then, okay. I still have this watercolor image now. So just turn it off. Then, this is still unbalanced. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this one, lighten up, brightness, less contrast. Okay, then touch more, make it lighter. Now, I'm gonna add, this one is make it lighter. Let's see this watercolor image now. Turn this one down. I'm gonna some change the watercolor image. Red, is it not dry? <coughs> Then water, watercolor, basic water, watercolor, and uh, pick some dark area. Blend this one in to uh, get some water in from detail. Yes, go all the way down. I'm going to add some highlight area. I want to paint it on more detail on her hand. So. Then I'm gonna touch on this base image beforehand. I'm gonna duplicate layer and then just keep it base image on this. Turn this one off. Then I'm gonna work on this. So uh, I'm gonna convert pixel layer. Then I'm gonna turn this off brightness 18. Uh, yes. Hmm, in that case, I can lighten up the shadow area, too. So I should lighten up here. Well, I'm gonna touch on this with the smudge tool, smudge brushes. And basic to soft round opacity on smudge tool, on base image, make it small, soft, and then highlight to shadow area smooth it out kind of greeny smooth it out to take the shadow areas lighten up for this shadow area because of the lighting i uh, use a sort of direct led light to her face straightly so uh, it makes a shadow on her hand so I may, I'm going to effect on the outlet underneath, then uh, I'm going to use this, oops, okay, I'm going to use this image, then same thing, I'm going to use the hue saturation brightness contrast, only effect on this layer, then uh, I'm going to bright up, that was 18. That was I used before, but uh, shows maybe 24 and less contrast. Then make the mask. It's gonna be complicated, but easy. So don't worry. I just make the mask on this. There's a mask already, so I'm gonna just 
Oh, okay, I see the mask now. Okay, now hide soft round opacity to just cut mask. Then again, create empty mask on this. Then invert mask. Now I'm gonna reveal only here the face. And The very light side. I'm using this mask only for this image, which is a uh, lighten up with uh, to, uh, this appearances adjustment layer on this layer. Only has this mask, which is only the face tones gonna be that this appearance layer. Then this one is effective on only her face, right? Now I'm gonna again cut mask. Again I'm gonna create empty mask on this. Then invert. Now I'm gonna show on reveal this on her hand. I don't need to show her face because I'm showing on here, so I only show, I mean, a reveal on her body and stuff, right? And hand, especially the hand. For background, I'm gonna paint it on this for background, but I'm gonna take this dark areas off with the eraser tool. Now I'm going to take this off. So now I'm going to smudge again. Yeah, I smudged hands also here. So I'm going to smudge on this base image to here. Mix a brush. Mona, let me see. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. Okay, just smudge it, then smudge from here to outside. Smudge to outside and see the mask 100% so it doesn't bother me this here. Now I'm changing this one, not changing, just check it out. Okay, lighten up here, this area, on this layer. Then uh, I'm using this one for we'll lighten up. Now I'm gonna a little bit tone down on this mask, hide this area, touch. I'm just hiding mask because it's too bright. Now starting point. What's starting point? Well, make the ma uh, background. <laughs> Wow, okay. Now I'm hiding here. You see the blacks. More effect around only face. This, not, not that much on the, this here. You see the mask. I only effect. Is that right? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. This layer is effective on hands, this area. But this one, this one effect, face area. Okay. Now, as I said, I'm gonna use, I mean, uh, think about background color to make something nicer image than this background. Okay, to compare, I'm gonna add layer. The, watercolor on this layer. Well, first background color first anyways. Let's try to make some good image on the background first, then change that to masks and stuff.
It's too much color on now. I think better than this background to this, but still it's not too much color, I think. So I'm gonna change this background, clear layer, then turn this one down, off. Then I'm gonna make some different color on here. This is the color now, background, turn off, then this was the one before, there's too much color, red, blue, yellow, so I'm going to turn this one off, then this one, a little more shadow color, touch more darker blue to here, Well, second try. I think it's, I'm gonna compare to uh, the work I won before. With uh, that was, uh, I felt so getting better. Well, that's it for today, and uh, thank you guys to uh, watching this video. I really appreciate you uh, support me. Thank you, and the next time, see you guys. Have a nice day. Bye now. Ciao.